Come on. Come on. Gotta fight me. Gotta fight me. Little ugly stupid. Hello. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. Como esta? Hola. Hello, my friends. All right. How are you guys doing today? All right, so go, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all know what time it is. It is I, your drunk Puerto Rican chef in the building or building. Let me speak properly. Hi, how are you guys doing? Ooh. So for those of you who can see, we are utilizing a chair today because it... I didn't know that was going to happen. I just want y'all to know that uh, because our leg is a bit more troublesome today than normal. So I am using probably because I have not been using my crutches in the manner in which I am supposed to. So, I will be hobbling a little bit. Hey, hey there, guys, how are you? So we'll be hobbling a little bit on the chair just to kind of take pressure. I might put two legs up and I'm still that short that you can still see me very clearly. Oh, but, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, let's do our shout outs. Not what, no, what did I just do, my cue? You got five seconds. Lord have mercy, being a mother. All right, so let's start with our shout outs. First and foremost, we gotta um, always acknowledge our essential workers, our frontline workers. You guys know who they are. So there's really no need to go into a full breakdown, but janitorial, delivery, hospital, teachers, so on and so forth. We thank you for your service and all that you do, especially during this pandemic. Um, I know I wouldn't want to, and you guys are doing it for me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. To my military members, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, and National Guard, whether you're active, veteran, retiree, um, uh, what did I say, active, reservist, um, dependent of some sort, mother, brother, sister, Amy, uncle, um, grandparent, cousin, best friend, we thank you. From my brothers and sisters who I served with, who I never got a chance to serve with, those who are still serving, um, those who have passed served. I thank you guys for always having my back or my six. I will always have yours forever and always. So I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Continue to be safe. For the family members, we couldn't do the job that we do without you. That is key. You are key. You are important. And I thank you for all that you do for us while we're deployed um, and while we're at home. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Last but not least, in our shop. Hey, boys. Yes, ma'am. Bring me my wine cup. Please, I left it. Um, last but not least in our uh, sitting on the table next to the bed, okay. last but not least in our shout out, of course, is our BLMM, Black Lives Matters Movement, one for YouTube and Facebook. Uh, this play is very near and dear to my heart, um, so it's too many names for me to call out, so we won't be calling out names. What we will say from your drunken Puerto Rican chef family and my family, um, Swining, Mama, Strickland, so Lee, Smith, Zampier, don't you have lost your damn mind, haven't you? Figure it out fast. Uh, and Bat Chan, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, continue to be prayerful and diligent. Know that this too shall pass. Everything is possible in my God, my Christ's name. Continue to pray. Be safe. Um, I know it hurts now. I know it seems like it, it's it's a struggle for the long haul, but we will make it through this. All right? Uh, and we love you. We're praying here for you and with you. Um, all right. So we've done our shout outs. Let me put this other leg up here. Oh, look at this shit. I have to knee on a chair, y'all. Look, look, look. It's a key because I put a little too much pressure on it yesterday. So it's acting up on me today. I had some ice on it, some heat on it before you ask. Yes. I'm juggling ice and heat. The ice sucks very much so. I took some medicine though, so we'll see if that helps or kicks in. Today we are making um, a Dijon um, herb pork 
chop. I know pork again. Yes, but I don't know. I'm I, I'm in the mood for it. So that's what we're making. And we are going to make um kind of a play on a potato au gratin to go with it. And um corn, just sweet yellow corn. Because my, my kids love corn. Our drink again. Yes, we're still on Malibu this week. Don't judge me. We are doing a uh tequila pineapple rum punch. Okay, tequila pineapple rum punch. I am drinking my wine, of course, and loving it because I'm not a day over fabulous. And all right. So let's get started. The only thing I really had to do for prep on this was preheat the oven. So that is actually heated right now. Um, we chilled our glass. It's kind of, I, I took it out uh, before I pushed live. So you can't see the frost on it. You can, however, feel the cold on it. So let's go ahead and start with our drink. Okay. Let me move this so y'all can see. All right. Fuck it. Oops. Nah, fuck it. Eh, it is what it is. So we are making this in a mason jar glass. It's actually a glass that is made to be a mason jar as well. When I do punches, I like to utilize the mason jar glass. I chill it so it keeps everything nice and cool. Uh, you're going to need lemon or lemon juice, of course, tequila, coconut rum, specifically coconut rum pineapple juice and if you have like um like a sparkling uh water or a seltzer you can utilize that if you got sprite or seven up you can utilize that okay so we're gonna start off with dun -dun -dun. you want two ounces of tequila <laughs> Then we are going to do it's okay. Uh it's okay. It's okay. We will get together. I promise. I absolutely promise. Okay. Then we're going to do Two ounces of our rye. All I want is to make the flame. Now, rum pairs with tequila very well, but tequila pairs with pork. Can you stop screaming, Micah? Stop making your brother scream. Thank you. All right. Next. You're going to add your pineapple juice. Let me shake this up. Which has also been chilled. All right. Yeah, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. We can definitely, definitely, definitely do that. Now, I have real lemon and I got lemon juice. Um, Blair, if you're going to be on, you want to be my shot caller? We're going to use our lemon wheel to garnish. So I'm going to cut a pretty decent size. There we go. Kick that right on out. I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice down in here, okay? I'm also going to drop just one little wheel in. And I'm going to hit it with, and this is not artificial lemon juice. This is real lemon juice. But it's a bit more concentrated. Now... Let me see if I forgot to grab the seven up or the sprite. Micah or Isaiah. Come here. I need you. Isaiah, 
One of y'all get get your ass up. Don't make me pull the black mama on camera. Don't do it. Michael, give me my shirt back. Give him, give him the dang shirt. Look back there and see if there's some Sprite or 7-Up or ginger ale. So now, at this point, you're going to want to add your seltzer. Uh, that is orange. Yeah, there was no. There's nothing else? Yeah. There's orange and um, I'll pull the other one out if you want me to pull What's it. What's the other one? Let me see the other one. So, this will be where you add your seltzer or your... Um... No, hell no. Nope, not that one. Um, or your lemon lime soda of any sort. This when you put it in. I don't, apparently I'm all out because my kids like to drink shit up like it's going out of style. So we just going to add a little orange soda just for kids. Shit. Then get your spoon. I'm going to come down off the chair for just a second. Stir it up. That was a weak ass stir. Don't judge me. Hit it with a straw. And that, my ladies and gents, is going to be your punch. Oh, oh, that's really good. Don't judge me. Sorry. Shit, I'm happy. That was some wine, though. Mm. Let's do it. You ready? All right. YouTube, grab your glass. Facebook, grab yours. It is shot time. Don't have me get naked and stripping and trying to dance like a stripper. Dance like a stripper. Dance like a... I use the strip, but I ain't trying to do that like no Mommy, more in front of everybody. You should hear you. Your mom, she's telling you to not do that. Oh, shit, she heard me? Yeah. I guess apparently I'm being told not to get naked and dance like a stripper. <laughs> All right. Stop chasing your brother. Like, this is common sense shit that I'm Why saying to you, son. Why did you put some juice box on it? Son. All right. So grab your shot. Let's get ready to go. Hey, grab your shot. Let's get ready to go. I'm going to bring y'all just a bit closer because I want to make sure y'all can see. All right. And y'all can see, other than my booty, I'm getting a little booty. I'm getting a little booty. Uh, Micah. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? Playing with Zay Of course you are. I don't even know why I ask stupid questions <laughs> with you all. Uh, no, they Look. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, well, I have a with All right, there we go. All right, so let's shoot to being cute, having fun, and getting drunk. Salud, salud, salud. Oh, hold it up. My mother really needs to clean out her scope. Ah. Okay. That'll work. All right. So, you should have preheated your oven. Oh, I forgot to take my shot. Oh, shit. Salud, salud. All right, you should preheat your oven to um, 400 degrees. Have that already going, so by the time we get this pork in there, it's just gonna cook relatively quickly, and that'll be that. <coughs> what you're gonna need for today, fresh parsley, okay? Black pepper, mayo. I'm using a little garlic salt. You don't necessarily have to. I like garlic salt. For my salt, I'm actually going to use pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Some tones. Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. And grape. 
Yes. What's your question? Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm here. Sudden foot loss. What's going on? Go ahead and ask me and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. All right. You're also going to need some potatoes. Okay. You're going to, I'm, I'm going to use, I like onion. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use some onion. All right. And corn, whether you want to do um, canned corn or fresh corn and just fill it off the cob, that's fine too. Strictly up to you. In my corn, though, I'm going to add, that's where I'm going to add the onion and a little uh, red bell pepper, okay? Um, you're also going to need Parmesan cheese for this. And you're going to need like a cheddar. Or you can get a, like the, the taco blend, or they call it, unfortunately on the pack, they call it the Mexican blend. I don't know why, but you're going to need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our pork chops first, first because that's gonna take a second to cook. And we're gonna try and keep the show on time. We're already 16 minutes in, and the pork chops need to go in and be in there for roughly about 15, and maybe 17 minutes. You can pull that off, maybe, okay? So, actually first, well, we're starting with the pork chops, damn it, but we are gonna start by making the topping for the pork chops, you feel me? Everybody need to get your drink, because I'm about to drink some more shit. That tequila got me warm as a motherfucker. Y'all didn't hear me say that, did you? Okay. All right, there we go. Mm. So, um, if you got a mixing bowl, shit. I felt like I was about to do the splits. I did the splits at my birthday, y'all. Your girl was on point. On fleek. I had it. I don't even know if they use the words on fleek anymore. Do they? What up, Mr. Bell? So we're gonna go ahead and pull out our pre-cleaned um, parsley. I'm waiting on Footloose on YouTube to ask their question. Whenever they ask it, I'm gonna answer them, but we're gonna continue on um, till they're ready. You are going to kind of mint your parsley. And I'll just move that to the side. So when I say mint, like you just seen me do, you're going to cut it off and then come back through and chop it some more. Okay? You want to get it as small as you can. Now, I know y'all are going to be like, well, why don't I just use dried parsley because it's already minced? I tell you guys all the motherfucking time that there is nothing like fresh ingredients the flavor profile is different the smell is amazing it's almost orgasmic shit is sexy um and the taste is is the well i said the taste eh, it's it's just sheer amazing it's just it's way better so if you can utilize fresh use fresh damn it mm. i smell good that smell good. When I get excited, my nipple rings pop out further. Is that bad? Let me see. I'm going to stand like this. Uh-uh, I ain't. I don't even like putting on a bra. It's not my fault. I didn't never used to have titties. I didn't. I was 99 pounds till I had my first child. And I was 27 when I had her. And I went from 99 to like 180 something. Huge old booty and boobies. Oh, I don't need that. Um, and now, unfortunately, I got knockers and I, they just get on my nerves. So you're gonna take parsley. You're gonna need maybe about a third of a cup of grape upon depending on how many pork chops or excuse me and we're not doing pork chops we're doing pork steak depending on how um how uh many pork steaks you're doing kind of well you know rule of thumb we talk about this shit all the time it'll dictate how much you use i like italian so i'm going to use in in the dried measurement world 
I'm going to use a third of a cup. No, I'm going to use a fourth of a cup because I like it. Now, for my mayo, I am going to use about four tablespoons. I hate giving out measurements, but I found like I've been getting y'all um, DMs and shit lately, and so I, I'm 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 working on it. I'm working. On, I'm trying to use the measurements for y'all and shit. The shit's difficult. Okay, I'm gonna tell you like that. The shit's difficult. Now, see how it looks. Just start stirring it up. All right. I'm gonna set that to the side, really fast. And now we're gonna get our pork chops going. You need a baking dish. If y'all ignorant fuckers don't, oh damn it, Blair. Shit. Already? Like right, right, right now? Like this, this, this particular second? Like this moment, right here. All right, YouTube. Grab your shot glasses. She done call shots again. God damn it. I'm sorry, Lord. She's trying to get us all. <laughs> She's trying to get us all. All right, I'm grabbing mine. Hold on, because I was just about to rinse off my meat. <laughs> I got a dirty mind. Y'all know this shit, so don't nobody act sharp. All right. Now. Shit, let me go ahead and pour this shot before I have to hurt. All right, uh uh. Let me get my towel, girl. Let me get my towel. Because I'm, I'm ranching off my meat. Y'all know what ranching off is? Damn. And she came with a thorough tag. She had to put the shit in cat's up. Like, I'm asking her right, right now. She's like, bitch, yes. Break this motherfucking minute. Oh, if I said that, a motherfucking minute. Hold up, wait one motherfucking minute. Go trick daddy. Oh, I do not own the rights to nothing that trick daddy does. Facebook and YouTube. It's just he's one of my favorite rappers. All right, there we go. I ranged my meat off. Let me go ahead and get my shot going. Cause she's gonna make me do it. All right, fuck it, let's go. Um uh, I'm gonna have to clean up my mama's stove. Her stove is a mess. Um, to not having to wear a bra. No. <laughs> uh, to tattoos, piercings, gun toters, and all them things. Salud. Salud. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> I can't stand you, bitch. You know that the rum go down way easier than that damn tequila. That tequila punch you in your chest, be talking shit to you to your face. It be like, I mean that tequila be. That's why I be on the on the t the counters and the tabletops. The damn tequila. Oh, mm -mm, that's that tequila. All right. So we done ranch or rinsed. I'm being ghetto or silly. We done wrenched off our meat, which is the same thing I tell y'all every time we cook. Clean your ass, clean your vegetables, clean your meat. Like if you coming home from the grocery store, right? And you just like you just walking in the house, don't go and start putting your vegetables that you got because they have a the little spray or the little mist, thinking that your shit's clean. It's not. Rinse it off yourself. Then properly pack it and store it in a storage bag. So you won't have to continuously do it. But a me initial contact is you need to come home and rent your set off. Just like when you out running and you know you're about to get some for the night. You got to clean up. Do care about your food the same damn way. Okay. I say this to y'all all the time. I don't know why y'all don't listen. I hope y'all listen. Because I'm telling you, don't you invite me to your damn house. Talking about girl, I'm cooking. And I done walked in there and watched you start cooking. 
and seeing you ain't wrenched the damn thing up, I promise you, baby, I'm gonna tell you, ooh, I'm not hungry. What you got to drink? You got some alcohol? That's gonna be my dinner for the night. And when you ask me why, I'm gonna tell you because. Motherfucker, I ain't seen you clean nothing. Your kitchen may be clean, and that's great. But I ain't see you rinse no meat off, no vegetables. I see all the plastic bags from the grocery store. I've been sitting here watching you cook. Job blast. Not happening today. You will not kill this bitch right here. So, and even though I've rinsed it off once, as you can hear me, I'm going back and rinsing this shit off again while I'm going through cooking. My ankle is my ankle is extremely sore today. It is extremely sore today, actually. Um, but you know, God willing, it'll get better. I I think I put too much uh, pressure and stuff on it, and and today it's just it's 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 it is giving me hell today. So, but I'm off. I, I do one more episode with you guys tomorrow. Then I'm off for three days. Promise to keep it inclined and above my heart and all that good shit and lay in the bed and just, you know, chillax. You know, let it work itself out. Yeah. 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 To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Tie. Let's do it like that. Cartman, South Park. See? She agreed with me. Nika. Okay. My sister Marie Smith on here. I got to ask y'all a question. Do these shorts look tight? These are the damn... Oh, I can't, I can't rotate you. Hold on. Okay, let me do it. Can I do it like this? These these your shorts. They loose on you. But that's... I, I don't know what's happening here. Y'all see my shorts? So, I haven't gone home to get any clothes or send anybody. I'm a sense of So, I had a couple of clothes here at my mom's, which is where I'm going to be until my ankle gets back well enough for me to really put pressure on it, drive to drive home, so on and so forth. So I stole my sister's shorts, right? Because I thought they was gonna be big and loose, like they are on her. This wasn't meant for hips and ass. And I'm sorry, I love you. I love you. I, I don't I, I love you. But this these shorts weren't meant for hips and these supposed to be basketball shorts. These weren't meant for hips and ass. I got some shit that apparently I didn't know I had uh had uh you know, God, I'm not dragging a wagon. I saw that. It's, you know, it's, it's a bit around different. Shut up. I am not talking to you. So, yeah, I'm only putting three in this because these pork steaks are big enough that I don't really need uh, too many more. My kids are just going to cut pieces off of it anyway. All right. So, we're seasoning it so we can get it in the oven. And baking, if y'all notice, I do not do a lot of frying. I try not to. If I do, it's usually in like a canola and olive oil, something very light. I try not to be heavy handed with my seasoning. Um, it's just a little bit healthier. Um, as healthy as I can be. Now, yes, I know y'all looking at me like, why in the hell is she using the Italian when she just put it in that sauce? I, I like Italian seasoning. What can I say? I like the flavor and, and it go. This is an herb Dijon dish. You want to be able to taste the herb. Down goes the ankle. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I need one more thing. Life ain't going to be right if I can't find it. All right. Cayenne. I got to have my cayenne. Mm -hmm. I gotta have my cayenne pepper. I don't cook without it. That black pepper is good. It gets some people some people's palates are very sensitive. So they say black pepper is hot. Uh, it's uh it don't it it don't have no heat to me. It has a flavor. Black pepper is made from black peppercorn and it has a flavor, but it don't have that pop, that mm, that you know what I'm saying? It don't have it. Cayenne though, habanero, I'm working on making a habanero spice like this, like a, in, in a kind of ground corn. If if I can get it the way I want it, oh baby. 
y'all ain't gonna be able to play with it. Can't wing with it. Hey, can't wing with it. Y'all don't know nothing about that. And I don't own the rights to anything that I sing on here or rap because I can't sing and I can't rap. I just be doing it to be doing it. I ain't good at neither one. All right. We're very lightly seasoning, lightly. Now, uh, unfortunately, so you guys remember, you used to remember me um, always announcing that I use Sazon Goya. I had stopped using it for a little while because um, the CEO was a widely announced supporter of of that idiot we have in office so but since then some things have changed to my understanding so i'm back using it but if i find out that they've changed back to the negative i will stop using it again um i do not support support um idiocracy i don't i don't i just i can't i can't that's like supporting a woman beater or a man beater i i don't do that either so mm. All right, so we have these seasoned. We are good to go. We need to get them in the oven like right now. Here's what you do next. I'm going to need a spoon for this. So let me just go ahead. And get one. Oh, my God. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, it sneeze away. Sorry. I had a sneeze. So you want to make sure that you get this on all your meat. Okay. All right. Now, you're not going to like sit that in the sink. Paste it on. You just kind of want to gently rub it to cover as much as you can. It don't have to be the whole damn thing. Just as much as you can. Okay? Okay. All right, just like that. Remember what I told y'all yesterday? With pork, it has its own natural salt, so you do not need to add a lot of salt to this. You're gonna go ahead and grab your uh, Parmesan. Okay, sprinkle the Parmesan. Oh, okay. So let me show y'all what I got. I don't got grated Parmesan. I got shredded. I like shredded. Can y'all see that? Shredded Parmesan. Can y'all see that? Shredded Parmesan. I like shredded. Um, Because grated, grated will not really melt for you. It'll toast, but it won't melt. Shredded will go ahead and get down with the get down. Shredded and it'll look beautiful doing it. All right, so we're done with that. 34 minutes in, we're gonna get this in and set our timer for 15 minutes. Hold on, y'all. I gotta do something. 
Where is her? There it is. Ugh. All right. When a stove needs to be cleaned, so much has been spilled in it, so on and so forth, it will start to smoke. If you want, just like you put out um, your grease fire with your salt, you can do the same thing, salt it up. That'll neutralize its um, willing or wantingness to go ahead and smoke the fuck up and kill some of that smell. And then when you go to actually uh, clean it, it'll be a lot easier to remove whatever is burnt or stuck or cake onto the bottom. All right, so now we gotta get our potatoes going for our potato au gratin. Now, I have already, as you can see, pre-filled these and I'm not cutting them in huge pieces or slices. Lily! Or Micah. Sorry, I got to shout for a child because I can't hop in there and get what I need. Go in. Oh, I love the way you say that. Go in the garage for me and my black refrigerator and get my taco cheese, the mixed one. Is it in a pot or no? No, it, the cheese. It's in a bag. The ones we use for tacos. Okay. Okay. So I'm making my plate on a potato au gratin. Typically, you're going to want to use like milk, um, butter, some flour, all that to get it nice and creamy and overtly cheesy. I don't want to do all that. I'm going to use some butter. I'm going to use some EVOO. Some cheese. Thank you, baby. You didn't spill anything, did you? No, I caught it. <laughs> Thank you, little guy. He's the best. What? Well, it's still smoking a little bit. Oh! <laughs> ah, gotta love him. And his long john. Ah. I ain't said nothing, boo. Uh. So my version of the potato au gratin is going to be with parm and the blended cheese or the Mexican cheese. And I, I, I shit you not, it's literally called Mexican blend. Mexican blend. I, I did not name it that. That's what it's called. Um, I would just call it taco cheese. I don't know why the hell they call it Mexican cheese. Um, well, I know why because of the, the types of cheeses that are in it but i feel like it should still be called something else but it has osaka um and osaka is typically used it's a like an osaka queso um it's a crumble cheese that you that if you ever got street tacos you've probably seen um osaka what i what i what i mr johnson you've probably most likely seen osaka um queso uh asadero cheddar um, it's a mixture of cheeses that could be considered Mexican. I just don't like saying stuff like that. But, and we're adding Parmesan into it and it has some, uh, a little um, Monterey in it. And mozzarella. Mozzarella. So, I am going to be using a cast iron skillet. My good old look. We're gonna go ahead and toss these in. Cause they're gonna this is gonna go in the oven too. Okay. Just like this. Season it however you season for your family. I, of course, am hitting it with a little garlic salt. Now I'm putting enough on the top to cover because I know I gotta flip this around and shit. So, you know, got to make sure we're decent. Little pepper. I am not going to put um, cayenne in this. 
I am gonna put a little goya, a little sazon. And I am gonna put some salt. Not too much. Now, what I need now that I already didn't pull out for whatever reason, and I'm not seeing, oh, there it is. What I need now is my EVOO. Just enough to coat, because I'm gonna toss this with my hands before I start adding the cheese and the butter. What did I do to y'all? Flipped y'all the other day, I'm like, my bad. All right. So I'm gonna toss it like this to try and make sure the seasoning hits all the pieces, all the different pieces, right? This is how you toss your chicken when you season it in the sink or whatever your meat is. You try and make sure everybody gets some. So that's what we're doing here. All right. Perfect. Now, I'm going to rinse my hands off. All right. There we go. So, if you have um, milk, you can use it. I do not want to use milk. I'm using heavy whipping cream. And I'm only using very little. Very little, not a lot. I don't want it super creamy. I just want enough liquid in the bottom of the cast iron to help facilitate the cookie portion, okay? All right. And now, oh wait, before I add my cheese, let me put my butter in. So if you can see, if you're using a stick, strategically place your slices to where they will melt and cover. Hold on. All the different parts. So I have them placed like that. Can you see? Kind of spread out because when this melts, it's gonna go. In this area, that area, that area, that area, that area. Oh, you can't see I got stuff in your way. Can you see now? Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let me rinse the butter off my fingers. Mm. All right. We're going to go ahead and just hit it with some cheese. And then top it with our farm. And then I'm going to lightly dust it with some Italian. Yes, I'm keeping the thing going throughout. And we're going to toss this in the oven for the next 15 minutes with our pork. All right. Done and done. That's to the side. Now, I need you to go ahead and cut up. Let's get our corn going. So we can get that in a small saucepan. Y'all know what a saucepan is, right? Small pot. Let me see. Let me get a small one. Actually, no. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to use a small skillet. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because I just thought about that. Okay. Oh. I have already, I'm using canned corn and I have already drained all the water off that's in it.
Okay. Now, I'm going to add onion to it, and I'm going to add red bell pepper. So I'm going to slice some onion. That should be enough. Just like that. All right, it is shot time, ladies and gents. YouTube, get your shots ready. Facebook, get your shots ready. Y'all know what time it is. Well, no. We need one more slice of onion. I thought it was going to be enough, but a little bit more. All right. Let me get it. So I'm using the red bell pepper, mini pepper. And you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and add orange pepper in there too. All right, grab your shots. I'm going to do tequila. I don't know what y'all are doing. It is time. You got yours, you too? All right, let's go. Salud, salud. This is to dinner tonight and to seeing you and to meeting you. And salud, salud. Hmm. Damn. That tequila, I'm telling you, every time I shoot it, it got nipples hard. That's because I made all my kids off of birth control and tequila. I think I'm playing. And before y'all ask, no, I couldn't sue the hospital because they always told me that there was a one damn percent chance that I could still get pregnant off the birth control. And I happen to be the one damn percent chance every motherfucking time. Every time. Like, what? And they were different birth controls. How much bullshit is that? I, I, so I had stopped drinking tequila, but now my tools are tired, I'm straight. All right. So we're gonna julienne our peppers. As you see me doing, and we are going to dice them and put them in our corn with butter and a little lemon, lemon, and then we're going to put them on the burner on a medium high and let it cook for about five minutes or so. It doesn't need very long. All right. Shit. And then we're going to sit and drink till it's time to take everything out and put it together on a plate. What y'all think? Hold on. Shit. All right. Now, I'm adding the bell pepper for color and for flavor. Boom. That's that. I got about a two fourths of stick of butter left. I'm gonna drop that right on in there. I'm gonna hit it with a little sazon and cayenne and garlic. Then Done. Lemon juice or a capful or lemon. Done. Cayenne. Done. On the oven it goes, medium high. We'll leave it on there for about five minutes while we wait for the rest of the food to cook. Last thing you need to do for this. There's one final thing before we sit down and just start getting fucked up, okay? Mm. What up, cuz? Damn, this shit is good. Wait. We are going to wipe down our counter space 
but we need to chop up some fresh parsley to garnish with uh, when we plate. So let me get a towel. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, there we go. Let me throw this in the trash. What up, though? How you doing? Girl, what? Nah, she just in inching around, ancient around on this ankle, or attempting to inch around on this ankle. Mommy's here. What do you need, baby? Huh? Huh? Wait, what you say? Why do y'all do that high voice? And why did I just do it? Uh, I can't do it. Mommy's too old. Okay. Let me get this. That's it. We are going to repackage our parsley that we did not use. Because remember, we've already... Clean this thoroughly. Mom, what did you put right there? What did I put right there? That's that's butter. Leave no. the butter butter alone. That doesn't work. That's because it's not my typical butter. Here, throw this in the trash for me. I can do it. No, you can do it. That's why not. Kids be smart no, as hell. You see that trash? I don't thing? Have no you got hands. I gave birth to you. I know you came <laughs> out with hands. Take it. I'm on one if you drop it, I'm gonna I'm gonna square you up. I'm gonna straight square you up. You didn't come out with one hand. The doctor slapped your ass and looked me in the face and told me you had two hands, ten toes, and ten fingers. Stop lying to these people. I'm looking at what that got, boy, little boy, little boy. Ain't no way in hell these people think. That you had one. They done seen you in this damn camera before. This is gonna need bro. But only with one hand. Ha ha ha. You can't miss. Excuse me, let me take that back. This little king. Even though he's a little I asshole at times. He's my little king. So this little king. Oh wait. Gloria, you ain't seen what I mean, have you? Yeah, I'm coming out. Oh. Hold on, I'm using the chair. What? See my pretty new. Well, y'all seen it. See it? Ugh. Child. I am in that for a couple of weeks. Now tell me that's not shitty. All right, hold on. Let me toss the corn around a little bit. Did I never set the timer? Hold on, y'all. All right. There we go. It is time to remove our pork steaks. We're going to remove them. Uh, girl, having too child, having way too much fun in my birthday party. Having way, 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 way too much fun. Our pork steaks are done. I bring it over here so you guys can get a glimpse. I tripped on my birthday outfit. So these are our pork steak. Okay. Nice and golden. You see kind of that gold color on the cheese. That's what you want to see. They are cooked through. And now what you're going to do is to ensure that it keeps the... Oh, can y'all can y'all see you? I'm sorry. I just showed y'all. Can y'all see? Okay. See that golden brown on it? Beautiful. So to ensure that you keep the uh, juice 
because I like my meat juicy. I don't know about y'all. I like my shit wet. That's not sounding right as I hear it coming. It is, um, so it's not coming out right. But you, 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 you know what I mean, right? It just, as it as it came out of my mouth, it was too late to take it back. Um, uh, so we're gonna let this sit, in, or what we call in, in the cooking world is called resting meat. So you rest it, you allow the moisture to retain itself inside the meat. You also allow um, it to stop cooking. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. So we're gonna just move it over here hold on y'all i'm coming all right now that is resting so that we can keep our meat nice and juicy our potatoes are rotten should be done um in a couple of minutes they don't take very long the reason they don't take very long is because we thinly sliced the potato with the temperature we have our stove on it'll cook through and we utilize that heavy whipping cream as a liquid or conduit to cook through almost to the effect of steaming without the lid okay cheese on top melts it's nice and golden um and then you and then we plate so normal people would plate on a on a plate i'm plating in um my little favorite gets in bowl mm, mm, mm. happy hand no, i'm just playing i don't own the right to that music facebook or youtube so what i'm gonna do is put the au gratin in the bottom of the bowl place a pork steak and I might slice, I might not, um, across the au gratin with some corn and we'll top it with our herb. And that is going to be your Dijon herb pork steak um, with potato au gratin. So now, can we get drunk till, till this comes out? Because we, we got about five more minutes. Can we do that? Can you do that? Hey, holla at me because we don't care. Don't own the right to any music. Any music that I quote, halfway quote, partially quote, halfway fuck up. Because I don't know all the words to everything shit. Mm -hmm. I just know I like them. I like certain songs. Uh, I need some more wine, y'all. Uh, so let's drink. And let's go ahead and do a shot. While we are at it. No, this is not my typical Pinot Grigio. I know. This song dedicated to my homie. And I do not own the right to that music. That is one of my favorite songs. Um, we played that at the funeral of my cousin Chucky almost 30 years ago. Somewhere like that. I will I will definitely send it to you. Um it was supposed to be a couple days ago, but because Damien got killed, uh and and we had to deal with the attorneys and he was my everything and my business partner included. Um it delayed it because um the family is suing the county and um so the attorney so our family attorney is dealing with our business attorney and so it's delayed it by about a month and a half but we will still be opening before the end of the year so um i'll make sure you have it um by you no know, later than mid next week okay uh, all of you guys by the way all of you guys make sure all of you all have it um mid to the end of next week and uh and you know let's keep us in in your prayer, shit. It's gonna happen the way God see it happening. I didn't figure out that this was gonna be the way, but this is gonna be the way, and, and we're gonna rock with it. 
but I got you. I got you. I got you. Hopefully you're hanging in. Let's go ahead and do this shot. Grab something to drink. I'm back on tequila. Shit, I'm gonna be naked somewhere. Who coming to get me? Ever did a girl in a cast? I'm playing. Jokes. Straight jokes. <laughs> Not at all happening. Okay. All right. So this shot, since we are conversing about it, this shot is going to be to um, Indulgence Restaurants, which is the name of the business, but to the new restaurant we're opening, which will be called Damien's Place. Um, to Damien Lamar Daniels. To Alex Batchan. To Timothy, a.k.a. Cheerio. And to King Michael. I love you all. I've lost all of you all within a two-month span. King Michael, I still have to bury you. To the rest of you all. Well, to all of y'all. I know you're up there. I know you can see me. And I'm hoping every day I can make you proud. I thank you guys for ever being in any part of my life. Whether it's family, friends, or love. We're going to do this with you and for you. Salud. 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 See, now is the time I need this patch to make sure it's kicking in. Come on. But drinking tequila, I'd be ready to go sit out there and smoke all day. Come on. Kick in. Come on, little baby. Oh, I'm going to drink some of this tequila. It, it don't even make, I, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. This shit is good. I'm going to have to make another one just to take pictures with the food so I can put it on online for y'all. All right, so I need dinner ideas for tomorrow. If anybody got a recipe that you think you want to see or something that you want to try, like, hey, si, I want something with some bacon and some beef or shrimp and lobster or fish or all that, whatever. Just hit me up. Hit me in my inbox. Get on me at um, in my DM at Instagram, M-Y-T-R-U-T-H-S-R-S. It automatically connects you to the drunken Puerto Rican chef part of it, so don't worry. Uh, don't hit me on Twitter, even though I have it. I don't check Twitter. I promise you, I don't. Um, hit me on here. Hit either the side space Coleman Shelton or hit the drunken Puerto Rican chef page. Um, hit. Um, well, my contact information is on the drunken Puerto Rican chef page. So you can hit my phone. You can hit my email. Um, the email is the drunken PR chef side at iCloud.com. Let me know what y'all come up with. I need an idea. Or y'all might be eating pork again tomorrow. No, I'm just playing. No, we might do beef. I don't know. Or we might do seafood. I don't know. Hit me up with something. Tell me what y'all think. Because I just go with what my tummy tell me. So if my tummy say I want this, this, and this, that's what y'all wind up getting. So if there's something specific you want to see and you hit me up in my inbox and let me know what i can do is go ahead and hit you back and hey i'm gonna do this for the show here's the recipe because if it's something you want to make at home that day i'm gonna send you the recipe early type it up send it to you like i've done for so many other people and you'll already have your ingredients you can go through with me as we cook um so just let me know Ooh, I'm about to have to take these potatoes out. We start selling plates next week. The menu will be up on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, they will come in a vegan plate. And there will be about three or four, op well, three options. They will come in carnivorous, so meat. And there will be a turkey option. A pork option, a, chi a chicken option, and a beef option. 
then there will be um, a seafood option and um, and if you want any type of meal plan, there'll be an option for meal plan. It won't have a menu because for your meal plan, you're gonna have to tell me what you, uh, what falls in from your uh, personal trainer or nutritionist, what falls into your meal plan. And then I can create it, but there'll be a price for that. You can do family and you can do weekly, daily and monthly. So we'll start that next week. Let's get the potatoes out of the oven. Hold the thoughts. All right, hold on. I'm like, y'all saw what I did with the damn. I'm losing my damn money. They right over here. Hold it, thought. All right, I want to give them 10 more minutes. My cheese is not brown enough for me. So I need the cheese. Okay, so I'm giving them a little bit longer. I need the cheese to be. Okay, when y'all do macaroni in the oven, right? You put your cheese on and you have like kind of your white parts and a little bit more golden, right? You know what I'm talking about? Um, It's just not brown enough yet. I want to give it about 10 more minutes, which puts us back in. Our shows are usually an hour, 10, hour and a half. So it's going to put us close to the hour and a half. It'll put us about 20 minutes over the hour, which is fine. We're still under the hour and a half, so it works for me. But I just want to see a little bit more of that, the golden, the crisp. You know what I'm saying? The crisp. Want it. And then we can, I feel like I want to dust it. Okay, we are. So this is what we're gonna do to dust. Let me show y'all. If you want color or something on your plating, you wanna make it look a little bit prettier than normal. You see what I did? I just put a little olive oil in my hand and I'm rubbing it. Like kind of like when you're baking. You know how you rub the butter or the oil inside the dish and then you hit it with flour? I'm gonna hit it with cayenne because of the color. See what I mean? I don't know that I want to go. Well, I might. Hold on. We will hit it deeper red. That stands out, but I want to make it pop. Like, I want it to be, like, super sexy. Like, you look at it. Food should always be orgasmic. So, when you look at it, you should be like, damn, I want to eat that. Like, when you look at a female, when you look at a man, same rules apply. Damn, I want to eat that. That's how your food should look. So hold on. I'm going to hit it with still red. But it's going to be my paprika if I can find it. Micah. Micah. Cut this light on. Yes, ma'am. For me. I might have to use it. In here. Thank you. All right. You know what? Honestly, I don't feel like searching for it, so fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. So instead of using my paprika, because I can't, I don't feel like searching for it, watch it jump out at me. After the fact, I know I just used it, which is what is crazy. Like I just used, you know, fuck it. I ain't about to fight with it. So.
So I'm going to use sriracha, which is another spice. It's an Asian chili spice, um, which I love. It has a beautiful flavoring to it. It's not overpowering. You don't have to worry about it being like, unless whoever the fuck you're cooking for is like super sensitive. Then in which case, Tell them pussy's gone. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. It's the tequila talking. I need to stop drinking it. You know what? We may even... Even though we're going to top it with... Doesn't hurt to... All right. All right. Hold on. Let me show you guys. So it looks weird right now because there's no food in it. Oh, let me show you guys. Sorry. Okay. It looks weird right now because there's no food in it. Once we place our potatoes are rotten, and then our pork steak, and then some corn. Top it with a little bit of this. It should come out a very what the hell was that don't put your brother outside you didn't give birth to shit don't put shit outside I'm telling you now don't make me fight you I will fight a child I'll fight a child I'll fight an adult I don't give a uh, shit haven't we done that we went to Unica before you when we fought you guys yep and I'll fight you again what's up you will never beat your mama. I will never beat I'm going to tell you what my grandma used to tell me and my mama used to tell me I brought you in this motherfucking world. I will take you out. You and understand I, me? You'll I, never win over here, baby. That thing you thinking of, I done already done. Now, what the hell was that? Joseph. Man, I was trying to open the cake. Joseph Allen, come see what your brother did. I was trying oh. to get the cake open and that. They just randomly fall. Oh, okay. Oh. That was not you. Oh, shit. That was a bunch of soda. They just fell out of a freaking box. So, uh, sit the... Yep, he got it. Okay. Okay, so... Sorry. Sorry, y'all. The, um, there's a, a box full of root beer on the table, and they just... You know how you sit the box long thing because that's how you buy it? The 12 pack? They just all rolled out the side of the box. I'm surprised they didn't just go like this. And started off shh, 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 every cup in there. There we go. We getting brown. All right, we almost there. So, in which case, let's. Um, I think we're gonna slot. Um, all right, we're going to move our plate over. We're going to grab a pork steak, and we're gonna consider whether we're gonna slice it or not. Hand me a paper plate, baby. Yes, ma'am. Let me see. Thank you. Dinner's almost done. Mm. Oh, my. All right. So I didn't want it to drip. I didn't want to like drag it out the pan, but I didn't want to bring the whole pan. I don't mind if it drips on the counter. So this is what it looks like with the Parmesan and that topping, that Dijon. Say it again, baby, cause you're looking like money. All right. So, I just feel like that's not aesthetically. Mommy. Yes, babe. Can, I have cake? Can you have some of my cake? This cake. Which cake? This cake. The biggest cake than that one we ate of. The biggest cake? The cake that was for everybody? Yeah. Um, yes, but yeah. see how beautiful it is. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Yes, but dinner is basically done, so I prefer you eat first. Oh, I got my plate in the night. Oh, you do, and your plate can go for food. I'm not about to give you cake until you eat food. You ain't got to eat a lot of food. I know you want the damn cake. But you're going to have to eat this cake first. I mean, shit. You're going to have to eat the food first. He done fucked me up. What up? How are you, Mr. Fontes? Gorgeous. So the juice is on the counter. I'm trying to push it back into the meat. I might just like this. Oh shit, that's hot. Mom? Yes, my love. Where did all the festival on me go? Uh when we made them uh, BMTs. What BMTs? I'm doing good. Getting better on the leg. When BMT? we made our sub sandwiches and the lobster rolls. You're about to get a little bit of dinner. You'll be fine. I'm telling y'all, kids ain't. I am, other than my ankle, I'm, I'm straight. Sorry, I'm trying to find a thing to get it out the oven. All right. Hmm. Hold on. Let me show y'all what it looks like. So this is our au gratin. All right. So for plating purposes, we're going to sit down right there. I do not recommend that you sit it on an unsafe surface as like where I got mine, you see. I just, I know how to balance it there. So that's why it's sitting there. I, I, it's not something I, you know, recommend, especially if your house is busy and people are always in your kitchen, you can fuck around and hit it. Um, and, and, and it would not be very good, like at all. So, we're gonna get our bowl or our plate, what we're using the plate. I am going to scoop us out some potato. And I'm gonna scoop it just enough to still eat. Cheese. All right. There we go. Now I've got my gratin right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with our. Did he just stomp up them? Little boy, come here. What you cooking? 
what you burn? All right. Are you are you filming? Yep, I'm ending right now. Why are you just stuff up in the stairs? Because I told you you had to eat dinner before you put some um, cake in your body. Ooh, you gonna eat some of that cake? Is that cake still good? What'd yeah. you make? What's that? What'd you make? Potatoes, I gratin, a Dijon pork, topped with a little bit of corn. Okay. Boy, that, that boot is getting around. <laughs> that boot is really getting around. Listen. Yes. I've got to go to storage before it gets too much darker. And I really want to try and find the cord for that printer. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, what else do I need to get? I this need to go is because uh, I need some. Your finalized dish. I need some baskets. Right? You need some what? Baskets. Because I don't want all the dirty clothes on the floor. Gotcha. So. I'll be back. All right, let me turn y'all around. You want to take this little one with you? Because he, he going to get you. You want to go with me, baby? Come on. Let's go. And that is your finished. Can I bring some chips with me? You may. You, you still get cake. Get up here on this chair. Here you go. But you need to eat dinner first. It is important to eat food before you start snacking on sugary shit that's She's not correct. good for you. She's correct. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Get this one. Hey, somebody smashed one of my tomatoes. Oh, shit. All right, y'all. So we are about 10 minutes early. Um, that is your dish. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and take our shot. Have a drink. In our show, what do you guys think? I love cooking for you. I love cooking with you. I love cooking for you. Yeah, it all fell to the ground. He didn't. He didn't do it. Salud, salud, salud. Now, from you to me, from me to you, shall it always be? Just us two. Salud. 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 Mm. You know what I can't stand? Yeah. Let's get these doggone up. Uh, I love y'all. All up off the floor. Get in my inbox. Let me know what y'all come up with for tomorrow. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm about to go get off this ankle. And have some more wine. And a whole lot less tequila. Hey.